So here we go with Weird Frontiers role-playing game. These are the printer preview copies that I have uh, got a hold of here. And we're going to take a look at them. So this video is going to be just kind of about the physical aspects of the book. Um, as it's uh, quite quite uh, a massive tome. And uh, let's go over it. So this is the um, regular edition. This is the limited edition. This has San Julian art on it, the cover. And the Cthulhu Cowboy on the right hand has got a little bit of like a glossiness to it. And this is the limited edition one that has the faux leather. Uh, the, this one has silver and gold bookmark ribbons in it, while this one has black and red. It's got two of them. So let's just push this one off to the side. Actually, let's take a look at the spine, because this one's obviously different. So Weird Frontiers on the, on the spine there, and then Hell is Empty, and All the Devils are here. So fantastic to me. Obviously, it looks kind of like an old um, preacher's Bible a little bit. I love the, the, back, the way the back does. But let's take a look at the main one here. So here's the spine here, Weird Frontiers. And here's the back. Welcome, Weird Frontiers. Hope you survive the ride. This is a DC CRPG compatible game, and it actually has all the rules you need to play uh, the Weird West. So this is made by my buddy David Beatty. This has been an absolute labor of love for him for many, many years with absolute, just an absolute ton of work that was involved. I mean, obviously with 900 pages, but everybody that contributed to it, all the artists and all the amounts of art that's in it, the amount of words is just staggering. Um, yeah, it's it's a big book. It's the biggest role-playing book I've ever seen, but it's full of content. It's exactly what David wanted. Um, he wanted something that was just, you know, complete and gave whoever bought it just a real bang for their buck and have something impressive to show people. So um, I'm just going to kind of flip through and kind of show you some things here that I really enjoy that were surprising to me when I finally got the physical copy because, you know, I've been looking at this on PDF for years now and it's just not the same as actually having the physical form here, you know, in front of you. So this is the map that Jared Blando did. He just did a fantastic job. I originally had drawn out kind of what I think David and I wanted in my crude drawing style, and he was able to just completely pull that out and create, um, you know, and really brought it to life and improved it then some. I mean, it was just incredible. Uh, and one thing I was surprised by is this is much thicker than I thought it would be, and it's it's kind of a gloss. It's got a glossy look, so it just looks really nice. And this is tacked in there with some little glue points that won't stain the insides and should pull off nicely. I'm not going to do that, obviously, uh, for this copy. So it's got frequently referenced tables on the inside covers on the front and the back. And of course, this is going to be the same on the inside of that one. Um, and the art is just so much larger seeing it now in front of me. It's just amazing uh, to see it, you know, in such a, you know, my iPad's normal size, but here it's just bigger and it's just better. A lot of the pages, you know, they get full full page art and they just, they just really pop and they're big. So contributing writers, a lot of people, a lot of us went into this and, and really try to help David out as much as possible. And he gave a lot of us the opportunity to really, you know, delve deep into our imaginations and have a lot of fun and create a lot of stuff and kind of go outside the boundaries of kind of normal writing. Um, this book has got a lot of cool dark stuff in it and just fascinating imaginations all throughout. The artist absolutely blew it away. He got some people in this that are just, I've never seen before and they were really, really impressive to me. And his editors just, I mean, for 900 pages and, and the layout and everything, just an incredible job it was done by everybody. So um, before we really get more into it, uh, just let you know that this book can still be uh, purchased through the Pledge Manager. It won't be at Kickstarter prices, and it won't have a lot of the, the bells and whistles of the Kickstarter. But um, this one here is 75, and the limited edition is 100. And the PDF of this is available now on Draft the RPG. And I'll have a link down in the description, and I'll have a link to the, the Pledge Manager. So if you want to get in on this, uh, you still can. Um, the books are on a boat, and so the tentative date is supposedly sometime in late April. So fingers crossed that everything goes with that and that they'll be shipping in a whole bunch of these books. And then David and some other, and myself and some other friends are going to be shipping these out to the backers um, as quick as we can. And um, I'm a real stickler for packaging stuff, so I'm going to try to do my absolute best to try to get it, it, it you know, really well packed. Because this, you know, a book of this size and nature, you know, I want to make sure it gets there in, in one nice good piece, exactly the way it is here. So... Like always, David has a lot of his friends. You know, he, he thanks a lot of people that are involved in it. 
and um, great forward there by by Joseph Goodman. And I'll go through a lot of this more this inside stuff in the second video, just trying to break it up a little bit. But um, again, I just wanted to show a little bit of the art. Just you know, I'll show more of it, but that's one of my favorite pieces. I remember when David showed me this piece of um, you know these. It just, it, it blew my mind. It just was fantastic. Exactly what I wanted to see. So, um, obviously, physically, you'll see that the arcane section is this black section here. Uh, much like DCC, it's got a huge section of art, I mean, of, uh, you know, arcane magic, magic section, I guess you could say, even though there's a lot of different things in there other than magic. Uh, but it lets you obviously visually see that that's the magic section right there. And, of course, your ribbons are going to help you do that as well. So, um, here is the inside back cover showing you again, frequently referenced tables. And um, so that's gonna be quite helpful. And then some, some a lot of uh, promotional stuff for people that obviously are um, supporters and fans of the book um, are in the back. But I'll go through more of what's inside this when um, I do the second video. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really impressed by how it came out. Yes, it's a big book. Um, uh, I still think it's going to be look amazing uh, on the table or on your shelf. And, um, you know, I look forward to making the second video so I can explore a little bit more into what I did in it. Um, and some of the cool stuff I was able to create with it as well, as well as other people. We'll spotlight a lot of the, the great art and some of the amazing art, uh, the writers that joined along with me to, to help David make this. But honestly, this is so much David Beatty's work. It's absolutely incredible. He was able to make this. From going from Carnival of the Dam to this, to his first Kickstarter, and all the issues that came from that, uh, just major, major kudos to him for sticking in there, getting it done, and um, just making it an incredible book that I think anybody would be proud of, especially if they love DCC and The Weird West. So, again, look down in the descriptions, you know, the description there for the links, and um, if you want to try to get a hold of this, or if you want to check out the PDF. So... Uh, I look forward to making the next video. It'll be a little longer. Uh, you know me, I won't be able to hold back on some of the stuff, but I'll be showing a lot of the art inside, telling you more about the rules, telling you more about the setting and all the monsters, magical items, and the magic that is involved inside this game. So um, I appreciate you watching as always. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have shown up and um, you know, like the video, please. I always like seeing that like. It makes me know that y'all are enjoying what I'm making. So we'll take a look at the the insides at the next video. So thank you very much and have a good day.